What's going on, mi gente? It's Diego Montalban here to talk a little bit about the news of the day, I guess you could say. I'm sure a lot of people saw what I tweeted out and um, about Copa America 2024, right? Um, let me just say, first off, it was first reported by Gustavo Lopez, a journalist in Florida, so shout out to him. We did a little digging after that, right? Um, and let's get right into it. But first, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. All right, so Copa America 2024. Originally, we all know Comebol likes to we rotate in South America, who's the host country. The last one, um, the next one was supposed to be in Ecuador in 2024. However, there are talks that CONCACAF is negotiating with Comebol to try to bring the Copa America back to the USA. Now, here's the thing. It all started with some friendly talks, friendly, you know, let's get down to a meeting, sit down and talk. What's strange is Comebol and CONCACAF have had a little bit of a beef for a while now since, remember, 2016, there was a Copa America Centenario in the USA, which was the, the special edition 100th anniversary of the Copa America, which was held in the USA. Now, after that, it was said that CONCACAF, uh, you know, they liked it. They wanted to be a part of Copa America more regularly. Comebol said, yeah, cool. But CONCACAF wanted more money because they said that them bringing the USA and Mexico uh, to, to the Copa America brought more revenue, right? Whether it was marketing, sponsorships, uh, TV revenue, right? Um, Comebol said, no, nah, no, nah, we, we can do this on our own, pretty much, pretty much, right? Um, so after that, there was a little bit of beef, and they kind of just, Copa America was all South America, plus um, countries that they invited from, from around the world. Now, they finally decided, you know, it's been a couple years, let's sit down, let's talk, and here comes that, that, uh, that offer, I guess, that... I don't, I don't want to say offer, right? Because that sounds like it's formal, it's it's ready to go, and that's not true. Um, what it was is they said that there's an interest of bringing the, the, the Copa America back to USA, and they said, why not in 2024? We'd love to, you know, get the country ready for 2026, which is the World Cup that's going to be hosted in the USA, Mexico, and Canada. So that's the truth about it. That's what's going on. Will it happen? I mean, I want to, I want to, I want to tell you guys that honestly, I don't know. Could it happen? Yes, it, I'm, obviously it could. But the thing is, Conmebol is a very proud federation, right? This is the oldest tournament in the history of, of soccer, and they wouldn't want to let it go that easy out of South America, right? Especially if it's not a special edition, it's just a, the regular every uh, every two-year tournament. The only way I see this happening is, 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 if it's, if it, is if it benefits Comebol really well. That's what we're talking about, money. But I know, I mean, we all know the beef before was about money. CONCACAF wanted more money. So... I just don't know how this will go down. Will it? Would it be beautiful? I think, yeah, obviously, I think it would be good for both sides. Uh, there would be more money, more revenue. But at the same time, what's going to happen with Ecuador? You know, if I'm Ecuador and I'm next in line, I would be a little, you know, like, hey, what's up? Where's 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 my money going? Because now I'm I don't get to host. I'm not going to get that revenue from from the fans coming, right? And not just that, but then we got to talk about. What happened with the last Copa America, right? Colombia and Argentina were supposed to host it. So what happens to them? They were next in line and, and then it got pushed because of the pandemic. Great. That's fine. But then what happens? So Colombia, Argentina, Ecuador. I feel like a lot of people will start getting mad. Um, I think for me, in my opinion, a solution would be, uh, you know, UEFA decided a long time ago or a while ago now 
let's stop doing friendlies and let's let's create a new tournament, the UEFA Nations League. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't know. Uh, I personally don't like it because it takes away friendlies from South American sides being able to play European sides and vice versa. But I think maybe if if UEFA Nations League continues and 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 it, and it already has, then why not create a tournament where you have CONCACAF and COMEBOL together. I think, uh, you know, it could be nice. There's money there. Um, like I said, I see it as a win-win. We'll see what happens. Obviously, like I said, this is just the first start. This is just one of the first meetings that COMEBOL and CONCACAF had. Who knows if, if it will come about. Like I said, it'd be nice. Everyone, I think, would like it. Uh, if it was brought back here to the USA, um, obviously right before the World Cup, the 2026 World Cup, yeah, yeah. I mean, it'd be a, a great way to get the people ready to get more fans involved. But I think it's a long way. We'll have to see um, what the incentives are for both sides. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know the news of the day and not to get too rushed into it, because like I said, it is just the first one of the first meetings, and who knows what may come of it. But hopefully, this is just a start to something good because, like I said, there had been beef between Comebol and Coca for a bit, and now they're finally at the same table. So let's keep this thing going, all right? So please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see y'all soon.